Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. I hope you will consider subscribing. So today we are gonna be making something really yummy. We are in the middle of yucky winter and I am in need of a little bit of sunshine. So today we're gonna be canning up some sunshine in a jar. We're gonna be making Meyer lemon marmalade. Now for those of you who are not familiar with Meyer lemons, this is a traditional lemon. This is a Meyer lemon. They are uh, more orange than yellow in color. Um, they're a little bit smaller, or seem to be a little bit smaller to me. They have, they're less acidic and a tiny bit sweeter than a traditional lemon. So they make for a really special tasting marmalade. Um, this recipe does take two days to do, but don't let that scare you off. The prep work really doesn't take much effort the day before, and then you let things sit overnight, and then you're ready to make your marmalade the next day. So it really uh, doesn't take a lot of extra time. It's just a tiny bit of effort the day before instead of doing it all in one day, if that makes sense. And it's totally worth the effort, I promise you. Now, Meyer lemons are in season until March. We are at the end of January, so you still have time to pick up your Meyer lemons. I did find mine at Costco. So, um, and I see them at Costco frequently. I also see them in my Meyer grocery store frequently, but as I said, they, sh they are supposed to be in season until around March. So we have plenty of time to get this on our shelves. I thought it would be fantastic as a Mother's Day gift because it's so pretty uh, in the jar or um, to use for um, a Mother's Day brunch or just if you need a little taste of summer. Um, lemon always reminds me of spring and summer, so I thought that this would be a good way to break up the doldrums of winter and can up something really special. For Meyer Lemon Marmalade, I did get the recipe from the Ball Fresh Preserving website. I will link it for you in the description box below. All you need are two pounds of Meyer lemons, two regular lemons, six cups of water divided, five cups of sugar and a quarter cup of fresh lemon juice. Yes, we are using fresh lemon juice here. Traditionally in canning, we do use bottled lemon juice to make sure we have the right acidity. Uh, but in this case, the instructions are to use fresh lemon juice and it's about the juice of two lemons. So to get started, we are going to take one pound of Meyer lemons. It's approximately four lemons. We're gonna cut them lengthwise into quarters and place them in a six quart stainless steel or enamel Dutch oven. We're going to add three cups of water, bring to a full boil, reduce the heat and simmer uncovered one hour and 30 minutes or until your lemons are very soft and the liquid is syrupy. Uh, you wanna make sure that you press the lemons to release the juice throughout the simmering process you're gonna remove it from the heat cover and you're gonna let them stand at room temperature overnight. The next step we need to do for our prep work the day before is we're gonna quarter the remaining lemons should be about uh, four lemons. We're gonna quarter them lengthwise. We're gonna remove the seeds and then we're gonna cut crosswise into very thin slices. I did remove the ends of mine and then quarter them um, so I didn't have the hard ends in my um, marmalade and then we're going to place our slices in a six quart stainless steel or enamel dutch oven once again we're going to add the remaining water um, three cups it didn't take three cups to uh, cover my lemon slices the instructions from ball was to add just enough water to cover your lemon slices we're going to bring those to a boil reduce the heat and simmer uncovered 30 minutes stirring occasionally we're going to remove from the heat cover and let stand at room temperature overnight and that's where we are today so now let's get started making our marmalade Okay guys, it's the next day. I've allowed my lemon slices to sit overnight as well as the juice that I extracted from the quartered one. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our heat up to high. We are going to carefully pour our syrupy mixture from our quartered slices in, or our quarters into our slices. And see how nice and thick and syrupy that is? That's what we're looking for. So we're gonna take the back of a spoon and we want to uh, press it all through a fine mesh sieve to get all of that syrupy juice into our slices. 
All right, once we've extracted or got all of our juice, our syrupy juice into our pot, now we're going to add a quarter of a cup of fresh lemon juice. Most of the time we use bottled lemon juice, but in this case we are going to use freshly squeezed. That's about the juice from um, two lemons. And then we're also gonna add five cups of sugar. We are going to bring this up to a full rolling boil and then we're gonna reduce it down to um, a medium heat and we're going to let it cook until it reaches the gelling point and it's gonna take about 45 minutes. Um, the one thing I did wanna note is the um, Meyer lemons tend to have seeds that like to hide. <laughs> So I do notice that there are still some seeds, even though I took most of the seeds out, there are still remnants of seeds. So you might wanna look for that so it doesn't end up in your finished product. Okay, so I brought my marmalade up to a boil, then I reduced the heat to medium, and we want it to cook just like this for about 45 minutes. It should reach the gelling stage, which is about 220 degrees. So I'm using my uh, thermometer here um, to monitor it so I can be certain that when I've reached the gelling stage. There are other ways to determine if you're at the gelling stage or not. You can do the sheet test on the back of a spoon, or you can use a frozen plate, do the frozen plate test it's up to you but I found the most accurate is to use a thermometer so we're gonna keep cooking um, until we reach the 220 degrees and in the meantime I'm gonna get my canner and my jars ready all right guys we are all set for canning um, I brought my marmalade up to the 220 degrees so it's at the gel stage so we are ready to can things up I have um, my steam canner is all set and good to go so I'm gonna be using the half pint jelly jars. That's what our instructions are for. And we are going to fill our jars to a quarter of an inch head space with our hot jam. Make sure you, or hot marmalade, make sure you start with hot jars. I also wanna mention modern canning guidelines state that we do not need to sterilize, pre-sterilize jars or lids if we are processing for 10 minutes or more. And we're gonna be processing for 10 minutes. So I just washed my jars and um, gave them a good rinse, kept them hot. I washed my lids and set them aside. So now we're going to work, I've got my jars filled to a quarter of an inch headspace. I'm gonna use my debubbling tool to remove any air bubbles. I'm gonna take a paper towel dipped in white vinegar to clean my rims. This is really, marmalades, jellies are really sticky, so you wanna make sure that you clean your rims really well so you get a good seal. Then we are going to add our lids. And add our bands to fingertip tight. And in the canner they go. Okay, so once you get your jars all filled. Uh, you're gonna put them in your canner. If, if you're a water bath canning, you wanna make sure you have enough water in your canner to cover your jars by at least an inch. I'm steam canning, um, so I just need enough water in the bottom of my canner according to manufacturer's instructions, so make sure you follow the manufacturer's instructions on the canner that you are using. I am using the Victorio um, multi-purpose canner. You guys know that I love this. There is a dial gauge on the top of this one, as with all steam canners that tell you when you can start your processing time. With a water bath canner, a traditional water bath canner, you're gonna bring everything up to a full rolling boil and start your processing time. Once you get up to temperature for processing, you're gonna reduce your heat just to maintain that. You don't want your canner boiling too vigorously throughout the canning process. So we are gonna process for 10 minutes and then I'll bring you back. Okay guys, we are all done. I processed for 10 minutes like I told you and then um, let them sit in my canner for just a little bit and then I just took them out. So I wanted to show you how beautiful this marmalade is. It's already starting to set up so that I know that I got it at the right temperature. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. Um, I know it looks a lot like orange marmalade, but my Meyer lemons had a lot of orange or color to them. So that's why it looks like that. If you look at the ball website where I got the um, recipe, it looks more bright yellow, like a traditional lemon. Um, I don't know if they doctor up their pictures or what, but this is, um, it really is more orange because Meyer lemons have more of that color to them. So anyway, it's absolutely delicious. It has a very mild lemon flavor, but I think that this would be perfect for gift giving for Mother's Day. It would be amazing on a blueberry scone or blueberry waffles. Um, lots of great ways to use it. I hope you'll give it a try. Don't let the two day process deter you from trying it. It really was not hard. It didn't take much effort 
to do the prep work the day before and it tastes so amazing it's totally worth the effort so thanks for stopping by thanks for coming along with as always if you have any comments or questions leave them for me in the comment section don't forget to like subscribe and share and i will see you next time have a great day